This is the sculpture maquette for the Anchorman. He has a striking russet coloured jacket covering a striped blue and white jumper which would be lighter than a Guernsey which fishermen used to wear to enable him to wear it underneath this flannel lined jacket. When the jacket was cast off in sunny weather it would give him more flexibility to manoeuvre his article. It is a multi-purpose small anchor with several flukes. To hold boats fast in wind and various seabeds and rivers. This grapnel anchor has four prongs. The anchor is attached to a rope by a bowling knot. Or a hitch. Which fits the end into rings allowing flexibility to throw or untie the knot easily when needed. Clothing wise, this Anchorman's russet colour jacket would be wool with stitched leather shoulder pads alongside the wood, the wool collar deep enough to stand up and protect the neck in bright biting wind. He might also wear a neckerchief tied with a knot. On his sides he would have pockets with a pocket inside the jacket. On his hands would be leather or sheepskin gloves. His trousers would be wide enough to roll up. His short boots would be leather and quite loose for slipping on and off as he was to paddle in shallow water. No socks were worn if the boots were comfortable without. He would have a swarthy face and legs powdered with dry salt spray and sand. His jaunty walking action has a gesture of happiness with his navy blue backy hat perched upon his head. He is epitomised carrying his light anchor over his shoulder on his way to the harbour. He carries it to prevent theft and has become quite attached to it as an accessory. Even the boat was disabled from theft without its anchor um, because it is a crucial element of safety. His comfortable jacket shielding his skin from rust and barnacles uh, might have attached or can I cut that bit? The rope is an essential part of the composition it helps the feeling of movement as he walks. Transferring now to the model itself this is the original design for the rope and I'm getting the blacksmith to forge or make this steel rope to simulate the rope as you've seen it on the design and this needs to be welded and attached when the whole thing is ready. Following this perhaps I can draw attention to his boots which are now starting to take shape because this is not the finished article yet and it is quite solid as you can see at this stage. Some of the light might be able to be transferred through the material of the resin because it has not yet been coloured on the rus with the russet jacket. You can see that I need to add the hands when the, the um, metal has been welded and then I have to make sure the hands hold him. And uh, we'll yeah. if you look at the face, I've had to put some colour on there with some eyes in because it looked quite deathly 
without them and um, he didn't look very attractive so I've tried to give him more of a human feeling to help me work on him and to help to be with him. Um, as you can see the angle of the anchor is very important. It helps to give the feeling that he's carrying it on his shoulders. There's a form which is very sculptural here and this of course is where the rope will attach when you get it welded. Um, the jacket needs more work and it needs another couple of layers to give it the solidarity and then I need to work on this backy hat. At the moment he needs a larger shape here. The idea of a backy hat was that it was like a pouch at the back where he used to store his tobacco and matches and things and the, the moment it is just a too small a unit and I need to work on that. But it's quite solid as you can see.